super beanie man here. That right there is Oddworld Soulstorm Collector's Audition on PS4. And today, as it's just come, I'm going to be unboxing it. Well, I say unboxing it, I mean, that's how it was delivered. No actual box for the box. So it's probably all broken. So I figured I'd record it anyway, just in case it is all broke. So thank you, Amazon, for not taking much care of the parcel. But anyway, let's get on with it and unbox it and hope that the statue, at least, is okay. So I'll take the wrapper off. Bottom there. So yeah, the box is ripped at the top there. Few dents around the sides, but yeah, for the most part, it looks okay. Sorry, the camera is going to be very blurry, which is a bit annoying. But I'll probably put in a few uh, higher quality photos of it after the video ends. So, uh, just a slop in, slop, slap in in between the footage of me opening it. So the cardboard sleeve is now off, and we have. A, another box for that with that cardboard sleeve around that so at least the devs put more care with the box than Amazon did and we still have that same image of Abe on the front looking a bit sad and I also think that's the sort of face shot you get Let's have a look in here then so all of this we then get the hand of art. Okay, so we're back again. I've changed the camera angle so it's a bit brighter down in the room. So here we can see the steel book, which has a, a pretty cool cover actually. Um, you might not be able to tell on the camera, but the hand actual texture on the uh, cover is kind of raised, it's embossed. Uh, so it actually is quite lumpy. It kind of it kind of feels really cool. On the back we have the the back of um, well no the front chest of Abe with another tattoo, but that's not lumpy or anything. But you can see there uh, it reflects sort of in the light. Um, and then we open it up and it cracks, but it's not broke thankfully. And then we got another picture of that face of Abe inside, uh, sort of grey scaled, um, and then it says Oddworld there, but I don't know where to pick it up. Uh, so then inside the box we can sort of get our first look at Abe himself. So let's take this out and be very careful with it. So here we have the box for Oddworld Soulstorm. So I've already actually played this on the PS5 because it was free with Plus um, a couple of months ago and unfortunately I didn't think it was very good, especially compared to New and Tasty as well as the original Abe's Exodus. I don't think it was a, uh, a good remake. It kind of just felt a bit uh, clunky and worse than new and tasty, to be fair. I'm right by a locker. I press double tap square and he decides to walk to one that's further down the fucking shithole. It's like, are you just trying to piss me off, game? How could anybody like this horse shit? Hey, big spender. Everybody, let's right get out of here. Um, so in here we have a keychain of the Soulstorm Mining Company. It's a rubber one, so it's a bit flimsy, uh, but it's kind of cool. I hope you can see that. It's basically the Soulstorm logo. We have a very small uh, Abe's Odyssey palm tattoo so yeah that's not something I'm going to use because I'm not a six-year-old <laughs> so yeah uh, and then we have a sticker sheet I'm guessing these might glow in the dark from the look of them uh, but it's various tribal sort of uh, cave paintings that you probably see in the game so it's, it's kind of nice but yeah it's a throwaway throw away an extra really. For me they are just things that you put in a collector's vision just to increase the amount of things a collector's vision has. Um, and then we have some various art cards showing the Glucker, um, Soulstorm, Brew, and what else do we have? Another shot of another location in the game. Uh, we have to get 
the train to go there, isn't it? I think. Um, nothing on the back of them, it's just plain card. Though the front does have a sort of glossy feel, so it's kind of nice. Again, they're not stuff that I'm going to use, never going to send these as a postcard or anything like that. But it's a nice little extra, I guess. So, the meat and bones of any collector's edition like this is, of course, the statue that we get with. So, we're not going to look at that just yet. We're going to put that down there because that is the, yes, the little bit of the to be. So, we also have in here an art book. And I've kind of got high hopes for these sort of art books. Um, I think this is a game that has a lot of creativity in it. So, this should be a fairly cool and interesting looking book to just flick through and learn all about the games. And it looks like it tells you the story of Oddworld, um, how the developer process went, uh, the cast of characters. So it's not just uh, a load of concept art in the book, it's actually quite an interesting read, I think. So that's something that I'm definitely looking forward to just flicking through in the downtime. Because like I said, I've already played this game, it kind of disappointed me a little bit. Um, so yeah, but I still, I'm still a massive fan of Oddworld, don't get me wrong. But this game, I just didn't think it was as good as I'd hoped and hyped it up in my own head to be. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a quick flick through the book. It actually does look quite cool actually. And it's actually quite a lot of pages as well. I usually with these art books, you kind of get like a, it's more of like a sample book than the actual full art books. You only get like a few pages in them. Um, but that's actually quite thick. You can see the, the fair amount of pages there and it's a nice, nicely made book to be fair. And it's from Pix and Love. Um, and I think they did a few more of these sort of books. Um, maybe a Sonic one, I think, at one point. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all of the other bits in the box. Um, on the back of the box, on the side, we've got some more tribal stuff. Um, so yeah, that's that. So, let's bring back the main reason you're probably watching this video. And that's the Abe statue. So he's, he's in a plastic sort of box, so I'm going to take this off. Okay, so now I'm going to carefully, get excitedly. So I always wanted a, an Abe's Odyssey statue. And I remember seeing one in a market uh, in the town where I lived, way back in the 90s, when like one and two were out. And it was absolutely huge. And it had like a Retro Farms barrel, I think he might have been standing next to one. Um, and I never got it because it was like hundreds and hundreds of pounds. And, I never saw it again, um, so once I saw this collector's edition with a statue of Abe, I just had to get it. Um, thankfully, I could afford it nowadays as I work. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at this bad boy then. So yes, it's very small, um, but it does actually look really nice. Um, it's not, it's not very heavy at all. To be fair, it's quite light. Uh, but one thing straight away that I do no notice and like, we get a load of Soulstorm brew. A little crate with a, <laughs> the actual bottles in, and you might not be able to see with the camera, so I'll have to show you some photos of it. Uh, but there's actually the brew bottles in there with the logo on them. That's quite a nice attention to detail there. Um, and yeah, it's got this brew logos on the crate as well. That's really cool. So then we have Abe, and he's doing the classic sort of creeping through, trying to sneak past. Um, and he's actually got his backpack on, so you'll definitely know it's from this game. Um, because it's the only time where Abe has a backpack like that. Um, and yeah, it's actually quite a good lightness as well, I think. I think it's quite nicely painted. Um, yeah, the base of it is like the Rookshaw Farm sort of uh, steel, sort of dirty steel, sort of industrialist um, factory sort of setting, so it kind of fits in well. They've actually thought about what they're doing for the base, which is nice because some statues don't. Um, but at least it places him in that environment. Uh, on the backpack he's got some, some stuff hanging off it, which he does in the game. Uh, even his little uh, hair, I guess we call it, is quite nicely detailed. And it's not too flimsy, it's fairly solid, so it's not like it will easily snap one of the strands of hair, uh, which is always annoying with a statue like this. There's not any real bits where it could easily break off, I don't think. So it's quite a good statue in that respect. And the paint job is pretty cool. I like the stitching on his mouth. Uh, it's one of those trademarks of Abe, so I'm glad they got that in there properly. Um, yeah, that's it's a really, really cool uh, looking statue, I think. Um, so you can just stick the, the crates next to him, make sure he doesn't hit them, blow them up, or 
you know, make a noise because one of the slicks will come and get him. Um, but yeah, that, that's the statue. So, uh, as I said, it's, um, it's a nine inch statue. So for comparison's sake, just what I have to hand. Uh, <laughs> um, most random games, but yeah. Uh, a PS1 disc is that high. And a PS2 disc is just slightly smaller than a so that kind of gives you a good idea. It's just slightly taller than a, uh, a DVD. DVD case, put it that way. Um, if you want a comparison to another recent sort of statue, Crash Bandicoot is about that height compared to him. Um, so about the same height, so yeah, there you go. Um, that can give you a, a decent indication there. So yeah, we're gonna have a, a random PS1 era statue face off now. <laughs> um, I also have the lovely Neil Williams from Tekken. Um, I think this is the Tekken 3 statue, as you can see there, and they're all about the same height. Um, Nina is obviously taller than the other two, but yeah, that's how he sort of fits in with those. So if you've got any of those random statues, if you've got the Neil one, then props to you. Um, yeah. So we'll say goodbye to Crash. Just spins away. Something came off the base of the statue then. What was that? Great, look at that, whatever that is. It's broke up something. What was that? I don't think it's off. Oh, it is off crash. Oh, there you go. Literally just spun that, look. And his leg there was just snapped off. So that's great. Why did that come off? That's such a random bit to have broken up. Well, I've just placed it on there for now. Hopefully it will fall off. But that's really annoying. That's, there you go, you just cut, caught live a bit of one of my statues breaking. Thankfully though, I didn't pay much for that AIDS one. Uh, but yeah, there you go, so that's the collector's edition. Um, as you can probably tell, I don't really do unboxings that much. So this is probably a bit of a weird, crappy one. So apologies for that. Um, I've tried to do them in the past and recorded one of like Metal Gear, which is the Spec statue, uh, the Psycho Mantis statue. I tend to find that they're a bit shit and I never, I never actually publish them on YouTube. But this one I think I will just do it anyway. Um, why not? I need a video for tomorrow, which is Sunday. So I figured, yeah, this can fill the gap. <laughs> so there you go, that is all the stuff from the Oddworld Soulstorm Collector's Audition uh, on PS4. I think you can also get this on the Switch. Maybe? I don't know. Is it on the Switch? Who knows? But yeah, definitely on the PS4. Um, there's not a PS5 version of this collector's edition thing either. And this is the first time the game's on retail in box form. So if you've been waiting for it, maybe check this one out, at least for the cool statue. Um, yeah. And the really nice art book as well, I think that's cool. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Work. Wait. Follow me. Follow you. Sorry. Stop it. Bye.